Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop and today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on showing you how to reduce the appearance of chromatic aberration or the blue fringe in your photos. Uh, this is what I'm going to be working on today. In areas of high contrast in your photo, sometimes you'll notice um, when shooting that you get this kind of blue fringe around your subject, sometimes it'll be purple. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of that in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a new blank layer just by hitting this little sheet of paper icon down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to place this layer in color blend mode. And then hit enter so that it accepts it. There we go. And then I'm going to grab a paintbrush and zoom in closely so we can see what we're working with. Um, so here, since it's not falling exactly on her skin, it's more... Um, kind of haloed around her. I'm going to grab the color of the grass with my paintbrush here and then paint over this these spots here. And I'm going to do this at 100% just quickly so you can see. Um, and then it'll just kind of take it away. And then if you go over her skin and it becomes green, you can select the color of her skin and then paint the greenness off. Um, or you could mask it off either way. So just do this really quickly here. You can lower your opacity too. I'm doing this at 100 just so that you can see the results. And then you can grab white or the color of her skin or something and then just remove that green from her skin. Oops. And grab her skin color again and fill that back in there. So yeah, I, like I said, you can grab your layer mask here and then set the color to black. And then you can just paint it off of that area altogether. And then you'll just want to make sure that if you're still painting the chromatic aberration off, you want to make sure that you reselect the layer instead of the mask before you continue painting. And so then here on the skin, you can grab the color of her finger and then just kind of blend that in here. And this is at 100% opacity. I'm going to undo that and I'm just going to set this to 50% opacity. And then we'll just do that instead. That's a little bit more subtle and not quite so harsh. And then you can select this bright color here since the sun is shining through her fingers and you want to keep it looking as realistic as possible just select the neighboring colors and kind of fill it in uh, and then the same thing up here you just fill in with that color from the grass basically whatever color is bordering this you just decide whether you, you want this area to be you know the color of her skin or do you want it to be the color of her surroundings and here since it's not falling directly on her skin it is outside that borderline I'm just using the color that um, that is right next to this area and so there is how you do it basically you just continue this throughout the entire image until um, you were happy with the results. So, and the, oops, I went a little too far there. So that's when you'd grab your layer mask and then just mask that part off of anything you didn't want it on. And you can do this at a lower opacity and kind of blend it that way too. If you want to, oops, you have to make sure you select your layer again instead of your mask and then paint that in. You can even do just this color of her skin here. There we go. So, and then you'd want to grab your layer mask again and then just select black and paint it off of anything you didn't want the color to affect. It can be kind of a tedious process, but if it gets rid of that crazy looking fringe, it's worth it, right? So, that's all for today. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much and have a great day.